So once again, a very warm welcome to each one of you. And I do hope all of you, like I said, have taken your vaccine shots and are keeping safe and healthy. I thank uh, all the board members and each one of you to make it convenient to attend the virtual board meeting under these unique uh, situations. The annual report uh, has been circulated among all of you. And I hope uh, you had a chance to peruse it. So from a global perspective, I might share that the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 did trigger an unprecedented disruption and which resulted into the global economy shrinking by 3.3% .3 in 2020. But with the fast development and rollout of the vaccine against the deadly disease, it has rekindled new hope. According to IMF, the world is set on a recovery mode. The global economy is expected to grow at 6% in 2021. And uh, while despite the sharp recovery, it's worth noting that the average growth is likely to be lower than the pre-COVID period. Back in India, we went also through a very, very long swing and a much sharper contraction of the economy in 2020. And the outbreak of the second wave also slowed us down. Now, with the rapid vaccination drive and all the push, uh, we are looking forward to a very smart revival. And according to IMF, India is expected to be a torch bearer in the world's economic recovery path. It is expected to grow much higher than China at 12.5% in 2021 and 6.9% in 2022. For the year that went by, we also faced a certain challenges in H1. And that resulted into some lower capacity utilization. But then gradually, we got used to the uh, COVID environment. And uh, despite, uh, you know, all those generally the production levels picked up. Uh, despite all the challenges of the past few years, and also the new challenges emerging out of COVID, I am happy to share with all of you that we closed 2021 with very strong deliveries and recorded our historic best financial year. To share the financials, we had a 24% jump in the top line, a 357% jump in the profits, and around 840 crore reduction in the net debt. So with all the concerted efforts on cost optimization, manufacturing, logistics, and also tremendous hard work at the marketplace, uh, this all helped to achieve these sterling results. Our revenue stood at uh, rupees 5,808 crores, and we recorded the highest ever annual consolidated profits of 406 crores. During the year, the industrial chemicals business grew by 15%. And this uh, business, the industrial chemical business, saw a high growth emerging out of the pharmaceutical and fine chemicals industry. Plus, of course, the hygiene segment started getting its importance. Uh, the shift of the global specialty chemical value chain from China to India promises to further give a positive boost to our nitric acid business, which is a part of the industrial chemicals. Deepak Fertilizer's mining business, where we supply technical ammonium nitrate to the mining sector, that business makes up 26% of the overall revenue contribution. And that too registered a healthy growth in FY21 with around 1,495 crore revenues. Here to the recent changes made in the mining policies and also the need for 
at the focus on power for which it requires coal cement infrastructure all of it are beautifully aligned with our tan business and should give us a continued positive impetus going forward also in the crop nutrition fertilizer business deepak fertilizers business again is very well aligned to the mid income group growth and the resultant high demand in the fruits and vegetable segment the crop nutrition business also saw a good growth of 38% in fy21 and here again the government's continued drive to bring the much needed for the reforms in the agriculture sector will for the benefit your farm as far as the current year q1 goes that despite the second covid wave which is still you know somewhere hurting but because of the momentum on the back of better capacity utilization cost optimization and value based pricing we have seen also a healthy quarter now this needs to be looked at in the light of somewhere the raw material prices shooting up unprecedentedly ammonia i grew i mean ammonia prices shot up by almost 102% phos acid by 49% rgp a propylene that we buy at 50% Uh, despite all these uh, huge challenges because of the raw material price hikes, uh, based on strong performance drive and collections inventory management, uh, we did have significant reduction in the net debt at the end of Q1. And during Q1, our operating EBITDA stood at 290 crores, with margins of about 15.3%. which also i am happy to share is the highest ever quarterly operating profit so now going forward we sat back and thought where do we go from here and we looked at ourselves introspected to see what are the key strengths that we have and we saw two clear pillars one was our 40 years of established strong credibility covering right from raw materials manufacturing expertise logistics channel market so that was something that we saw as a clear strength base on which we could leverage for the future the second strength that we have seen is a beautiful alignment of all our three businesses with the country's growth story so as india grows the linkage to our fertilizer business which is linked to again the requirement of higher high value fruits and vegetables as far as india's growth uh, requiring more power which would require coal or for the infrastructure limestone and cement all of it beautifully aligned with our tan business and similarly an alignment of the industrial chemicals with the pharmaceutical sector fine chemical sector so keeping these two strengths in mind in order to get ourselves future ready for the next 5 years and more our core strategy drivers beyond the focus that we have on systems and processes and operational efficiency which will anyway continue there are three very strong drivers that we are focusing on the first driver has been get our size right so that with size we can get further economies of scale in every part of our operation and over the last four years you would have seen that we have added capacity to our fertilizer business from a market share of 3 or 4 percent we are now almost you know getting close to 20% in our core areas we added a nitric acid complex as you are aware at the h which puts us now almost you know probably second largest in asia as far as industrial assets goes and we are looking at a capacity enhancement on tan where we will be 
from being the fifth largest in the world will climb up to being among the world's top three in the space of uh, ten. Uh, plus, we have also taken a bee bottlenecking of some of our current plants so that with marginal investments we can push through larger capacities. Now, what this does is this very strongly leverages the forty years of knowledge of that industry, and this will be something that, with lowest gestation period, will give us uh, you know smart returns as we go forward. And we are seeing that in the fertilizer and asset investments that are already done. The second aspect of our core strategy to become future ready is backward integration to capture the value into our businesses. Now, majority of our uh, businesses, I mean, all the three businesses, the fertilizer business, mining business, and industrial chemical business, they all three require ammonia as their key raw material. Uh, we are looking at setting up a new ammonia project, and majority of that ammonia will be consumed in house for the downstream, which is already ready with us. Uh, this backward integration will help us capture value in the total manufacturing chain and also mitigate some of these price volatility that we are seeing. Uh, besides that, it will also help us mitigate the uh, bottlenecks that are there in the supply chain and bring down the logistics costs substantially. During the year, we saw the completion of all the land acquisitions that was required for the plant. All the statutory approvals, environment clearances uh, were, you know, then uh, available and acquired. Uh, almost 95% of the plant and machinery are already now with us. And the EPC contractor has moved to site with construction work at site on full swing. So once the ammonia project comes in stream, this is going to further solidify the 40 years of strength that we have in the downstream by having this key raw material with us. The third and the most critical core strategy to become future ready is a strategy of moving from commodity to speciality. So here in each of the products, instead of being in the space of somewhat of commodity orientation, we are now looking at more and more of a deeper end consumer orientation and looking at how do we position ourselves and serve the end consumer. And so in place of, for example, commodity fertilizers, we are looking at crop specific fertilizers. So instead of NPKs or BFE or any such thing, we are looking at crop specific for the sugarcane crop or for the cotton crop and positioning ourselves, you know, as a specialty fertilizer. Likewise, in the industrial chemicals, we are looking at every segment and tweaking our product specification to suit that segment. Plus, as you know, we have also climbed up into the B2C market by getting into the hand sanitizer business. Similarly, in the tan sector, instead of just the product, we are looking at uh, somewhere info explosives and a move towards direct down the whole DTH services. So put together, we will then be catering directly to the mining sector as we move forward. So this journey from product to unique and holistic solutions promises to help create a renewed brand space with sustained higher returns in the years to come. So before I end, I would want to sincerely thank our customers, business associates, financial institutions, banks, stakeholders, state and uh, central government authorities. And of course, my board members for the guidance that they have always been providing. I would also like to express my deep gratitude 
to the entire deepak fertilizer team for having stood up during all these challenges and put in their head heart and soul which has helped us to achieve such results uh, my best wishes to all of you and your families to stay safe stay healthy thank you now before we move to uh, further uh, proceedings of the agm i would like to have our cfo and president finance mr samita bhargav to make a presentation on the financials and give us more granular business updates samita uh, good morning everyone and uh, welcome to uh, 41st annual general meeting of deepak fertilizer and petrochemical corporation limited uh i think while most of our uh, shareholders uh, are aware of uh, our uh, business and, and and chairman just uh, elaborated on on our last year's performance uh, for the benefit of our new shareholders i would maybe i'll uh, spend a, a couple of minutes uh, talking about our business and and its uh, its alignment with uh, india's growth story uh, next slide as you would uh, all know that we are operating in three uh, segments uh, that is industrial chemical where isopropyl alcohol and nitric acid are two two main products uh, mining chemicals which is the technical ammonium nitrate and the crop nutrition business which is our bulk and specialty fertilizer uh, in industrial chemical our existing capacities are 13 lakh 62000 uh, and 160 uh, metric ton in mining chemicals uh, we are at uh, 486000 uh, 900 uh, metric ton and in crop nutrition uh, we are at 9 lakh 85 85720 Uh, metric tons per annum last year uh, the chemical segment that is the industrial chemical and mining chemical contributed 78% uh, to the segment uh, bottom line uh, while the crop nutrition business uh, contributed 21% as you can see the uh, the key consumer uh, segment is a very widespread uh, uh, segment end segment uh from pharmaceuticals to nitroaromatics steel and agrochemicals paints coating ink dyes cosmetics adhesives and health hygiene as far as the industrial chemical is concerned in mining chemical mining segment infrastructure segment and also partly to pharmaceutical segment and crop nutrition business uh, catering to the large agriculture segment so the the spread of end consumer is uh, pretty much uh, the key segments of the economy and that is where the alignment of our products and our business with the india's uh, growth story uh, comes in uh, in terms of uh, as uh, as chairman was also mentioning as the as the economy would grow we would get strong tailwinds uh, for for all our products and services last year despite next next slide please last year despite uh, the covid disruptions uh, we achieved the best ever financial performance uh, the impact of uh, the covid disruption felt more in h1 but by h2 we uh, we had put our acts together we got used to the uh, covid protocols and as you can see in uh, we clocked overall operating revenues of 5000 Uh, 5,808 crores uh, in in FY21. Uh, H2 was obviously uh, better than than H1, as I was mentioning. Uh, operating EBITDA of 955 crores. Uh, once again, H2 performing better than than H1, and uh, our net profits of 406 crores. Uh, H2 uh, again doing better than H1. Uh, we significantly improved our our financial health our our balance sheet uh, as a result uh, we also raised uh, equity last year uh, 178 crores through rights issue 
and uh, 30 million dollars the second tranche of uh, ifc washington also came in during the last year uh, we reduced the total debt a uh, net debt uh, by 840 crores in fy21 uh, despite uh, taking new borrowings for our ongoing projects the financial uh, uh, and leverage ratios were uh, further improved where we brought down the net debt to equity from 1.2 2.65 and net debt to ebitda from 5.74 down to 1.91 uh, with healthy current ratios uh, overall our working capital management despite all the challenges that we saw in the market was uh, uh, was was extremely good last year and as a result we generated uh, 1248 crores uh, of uh, cash through our operations next slide we have crop nutrition business uh, which is where uh, we as you can see the the growth uh, was from 1581 crores to 2168 crores uh, in both bulk and uh, and specialty segment segments did significantly better than fy20 Uh, there was a strong acceptance of our smart tech product where we 100% migrated to smart tech in fy21 which was an important uh, milestone towards shifting from a commodity product to a differentiated specialty product uh, seeing is believing as a concept uh, we conducted 16000 on farm demonstrations of our products 18000 digital webinars explaining to nearly 2.2 lakh farmers about our products and their value proposition a uh, new trend based subsidy uh, we got approvals uh, uh, from uh, the ministry uh, for our cross specific grades uh, which we would be launching over uh, coming quarters uh, success also came in in form of new product launches uh, where the new launches included smart tech 14 2280 uh, super fast ben self grape crop specific packages and tomato crop specific packages during fy21 the company also tied up with uh, samunnati uh, specialized uh, agri value chain enabler to offer crop based advisory in access to affordable loans to farmers and uh, farmer producer organizations next slide please in mining chemicals uh, uh, we uh, the the coal india uh, tender uh, which was we won through single tender inquiry mode last year in q4 of 2000 uh, metric ton that is uh, an entry for us for our uh, specialty product uh, that is low density ammonium nitrate in public sector coal segment uh, we are also uh, initiated the deep bottlenecking of our uh, tan capacity in taloja uh, which over a period of time we would uh, unlock another 25% capacity with uh, minimal investments uh, the uh, de- deployment of uh, specialty design bulk mixing and delivery trucks uh, to deliver n4 and high energy emulsion blend bulk explosives uh, directly into the bl- blast holes in mines this is again the point that chairman was mentioning earlier that we are our transition from not just a product suppliers but from product as well as solution provider to our uh, end segment or our customer this was part of that initiative uh, we also are uh, working on identification of mine and quarry productivity improvement projects across sectors uh, to optimize the uh, the overall cost for our our consumers and this is again an initiative which i would i would say not just uh, for our customers but in it will go a long way in the whole uh, the national uh, nation nation building exercise where in each of our segments we if we can bring in efficiency through our product that will that will uh, go a long way uh, we launched uh, an an care port uh, which again uh, our initiative towards uh, ensuring that our customers are on a real time basis can can reach out to us in terms of 
uh, various uh, uh, you know various complaints or or any any uh, uh, challenges that they are seeing uh, on on customer service side. Uh, next slide, please. In the industrial se uh, chem uh, chemical segment, which is IP and uh, nitric acid, uh, the hedge investment started bearing fruits, uh, where the capacity utilization improves improved from 65% in FY20 to more than 100% by Q4 of uh, last year in FY21. Uh, the company is also in the process of segmenting the market uh, depending on the concentration of assets, their application and, and different end user segments. Uh, we forayed into hand sanitizers, disinfectants and wipe segment with the IPA based uh, product brand called Cororid. Uh, we are also focusing on pharma sector and converting standard grade IPA consumers to pharma grade to garner higher market share and stickiness with our customers. The shift of uh, global specialty chemicals value chain from China to India, as Chairman was also mentioning earlier, it promises further positive boost to the nitric acid business growth. And last year, we uh, increased our revenues from 858 crores in FY20 to 1,115 crores in FY21. Next slide. There was a, a robust improvement in the margins, as you can see. Uh, in the chemical segment, uh, our margins went up from 15.1% to 23.6%. Um, and in fertilizer segment, from 1.7%, a significant improvement to 7.5% as we increased our our uh, revenues in both these segments over last year. Next slide, please. Uh, these are uh, some of the numbers that you would have also seen in the annual report. Uh, I would not go into uh, details, but as you can see, the uh, the uh, finally uh, the, the the path, which is where uh, you know we increase the our uh, net profit from 89 crores to 406 crores. And as a result, also our dividend last year, uh, proposed dividend is uh, 7.5 rupees a share. Next slide. Uh, we had embarked on uh, the digitization in Deepak uh, uh, even uh, before last year, but some of the significant uh, milestones that we achieved last year, where the total operation was migrated from SAP to SAP HANA, with a dashboard-based decision support system. Uh, we unleashed the digital power uh, where we saw an introduction of an end-to-end IT-enabled sales and operating planning, s and OP system, to enable the delivery of uh, sales uh, forecast improvement, logistics cost, inventory optimization, and meeting customer demands. A Smart Factory uh, 4 initiative uh, we implemented various pilot projects and in the process of rolling out uh, across all manufacturing operations to improve reliability, productivity, yield, and quality. Uh, in mobility enable enablement, various en enhancements to Farmer Connect mobile application, that is Mahadan, uh, to improve user experience and provide digital functionality to farmers. For example, soil test report, dosage calculators, and farmer loyalty program. And we launched uh, our mobile digital R&D platform for field, field trials. Uh, Creaticity, uh, also we launched an on, on, online portal for assisted commerce and virtual visualization of uh, physical spaces. Uh, in digitalization of our overall business planning and consolidation, uh, it was implemented uh, to automate processes related to budget cycle, annual operating plan, rolling forecast, and financial dashboards for margin management and cost controls. Uh, the accounts payable, uh, we also are in the process of centralizing and automating the uh, accounts payable system. Next slide, please. So uh, as Chairman was mentioning that uh, we saw an uh, unprecedented increase in raw material uh, in the first quarter. But uh, the kind of work that we had done at the marketplace uh, and, and the various efficiencies that we brought about in the operations, uh, the quarter one 
was uh, once again it was uh, uh, the best uh, quarter uh, in the history of uh, our company uh, that we clocked 290 crores of ebitda uh, with 15% margins the fertilizer business further improved the capacity utilization volumes as well as the top line uh, and in chemicals asset and tan sales uh, grew yoy uh, compared to to last year uh, uh, quarter 1 overall margins in in chemicals uh, were marginally low because of the large base that we had last year where the ipa uh, had seen an unprecedented uh, uh, quarter uh, last year in uh, uh, summary uh, next slide please uh, in summary i would uh, uh, would like uh, uh, all the uh, shareholders to uh, take away these key messages uh, that uh, you know in in our momentum uh, that we saw last year in fy 2021 has continued in quarter 1 uh, with revenue growth of 38% ebitda and net profit growth of 7% and 8% respectively uh, efforts in each of the business to move from commodity to speciality continues uh, with strong vigor and the next few years are expected to re reap uh, its its positive positive impact uh, strategic ammonia and tan expansion projects are uh, well under progress uh, each of these projects are uh, highly uh, not just strategic but from a financial parameters uh, they are uh, at high teen uh, irs and uh, and the uh, and the progress that we have seen last year and the beginning of this year uh, has been encouraging in terms of meeting the timelines within which we plan to uh, uh, commence operations of these capacities. Uh, there is there is an embedded operating leverage that is sitting with us, as you can see on the right side of the screen, where the capacity utilizations we still have 20 25 percent uh, headroom. And which is what uh, is is going to help us improve our our profitability in the coming quarters. Uh, with the with all the three sectors, industrial chemical, mining chemical, and fertilizer, strongly aligned with India's growth story, as the economy recovers in the coming quarters, we uh, are going to witness positive tailwind uh, in in the business. Next slide. Very briefly on ammonia project, uh, I think Chairman uh, did uh, elaborate on this. Uh, ammonia, uh, we require uh, nearly five lakh tons of ammonia per annum. And uh, this capacity that we are setting up is primarily going to be utilized for our own, own consumption. Uh, it would uh, impart a huge risk mitigation for all the three business segments uh, with this, this backward integration. Uh, there is also going to be significant savings uh, anywhere between $75 to $90 per ton on the logistics cost. And uh, this, as I was mentioning, would have attractive returns. As far as the progress on this project is concerned, we have fully acquired the land. Um, majority of debt has been secured uh, on a 19-year door-to-door maturity basis. Various statutory approvals to commence construction are in place. Uh, MIDC allocation for water is in place. Uh, we are at a very advanced stage of discussion to tie up our gas, natural gas, agreement to license, basic engineering, and, and the post-BED services are already tied up with KBR. Over 90% of the FOB equipment, including most of the long lead items, are already received at the site. So we are primarily looking this project as, as a construction project going forward. Uh, EPC contract is awarded, site construction is in full swing, and agreements are in place uh, with group companies for arm's length uh, sale of, of this ammonia to our downstream businesses. We expect to complete the mechanical completion by Q4 or FY23. Uh, next slide. Uh, your company uh, has also been uh, has uh, contributed significantly during uh, the COVID-19, uh, you know, the crisis that that country as well as the state had had seen. Uh, we provided uh, 2,500 PPE kits to Hefkin Institute through Government of Maharashtra. 
We donated a total of seven ambulances to various hospitals and municipal corporations in Mumbai and Panvel. We donated five oxygen generation plants to various hospitals. Donated uh, 25 oxygen concentrators to government of Maharashtra. Uh, we also donated 2,200 liters of sanitizer and over 5,000 masks. Food grains and gro groceries were supplied to more than 2,500 needy families and migrant workers. And uh, finally, I would say that uh, our H operations uh, also received several awards, which were in the space of environmental management, safety and health management. And uh, we also received uh, the Digital Technology Senate Award for 2021. Uh, so with this, I would uh, close my presentation. Uh, thank you so much.